Righty, well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Marshall, and here we are with another one versus one between Mop 9001 and the legendary noob. What do we got here? I've got my double picture in picture, so you can see the build cues as they are formed. Just for you guys who wanted that, so you can see there, legendary noob in blue on the north side, already going for his bot first double P gem, air factory double P gem build. I have seen that he uses this build a lot, actually, and looking at it, it does save a lot of space. And it also saves a lot of walking. So for those of you who are new to PA, and uh, some of my new subscribers in particular, when you spawn in with your commander, you don't want to be wasting a lot of time walking around, going to build stuff. Try and make it as compact as possible early in the game to maximise your production. Mott, on the other hand, neglecting power gems. They'll come up eventually. And this is the classy baron system. Lots and lots of mechs. Lots and lots of mechs. In short, bot raiding heaven. Absolute bot raiding heaven. But what we do need to be aware of, however, is Legendary Noob's propensity to go for his T2 air rush. Although given perhaps the proximity of the spawns here, T2 vehicles and or bot rush might uh, better serve him. But then again, with the raiding potential, the Kestrels will be great here, the gunships from T2. Lots of docks already coming in from Mott. And uh, Legendary Noob there getting out of Firefly, he's seeing a lot of this already. Going to his point of view there, we can see that he sees Mott's built three bot factories. And he sees lots of docks moving around on the field already. So he's going to be thinking, okay, come at me with your bot rush, I'm going to put up some defense turrets everywhere. But, as we can see, Doc's actually managing to outpace the Fabbers here, picking off one, potentially a second and third here. Will Mott micro this? He does! Wow. Very, very well done here indeed, and this is potentially overwhelming legendary newbies. Had to go for a radical change of strategy, even going for a lob here to try and bolster his Doc's production. The thing for Mott now is the fact that he can't get too close because the commander's there and able to defend. So he needs to think, okay, well, I can contain you, now what's the next part of my strategy? And yet he insists on going more bot. Mott, what are you doing? Are we going to see boom bots out of one of these, or are we just seeing a dox brush? No way. No, okay, I thought not. <clears throat> bombers though, now this is the weak point for the docks. He needs to micro this really, really well so the bombers do not take these out. Perhaps even getting just one air factory to counter those bombers would be really quite nice. Second lob coming up from Legendary Noob now though. Managing to just about expand back out to his mechs. He's got some nice wreckage here as well, so he's reclaiming his commander for a little bit of boost in metal. Gives you a 35 metal boost early game. Of course, you sacrifice your commander health in doing so. Bombers again. Mott just managing to dodge to a certain extent. Doing some really good micro here. We've got. Okay. If you say so, Mott. Mott is commander rushing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are looking at Mott Cheese right now. This is a build that he used to like, I think, a lot in... Um, I think it was Alpha or Beta, I can't remember. And uh, at some point post-release as well, where he would just mass rush bots. He does not build anything other than bots, and then just go in all ham. And this is actually a map that plays to that, because he's got so much metal, he can build power gens in his base. And he can push his com up with some really nice uber cannons here as well. And not only that, but the commander also has fairly decent anti-air. So these bombers, the closer that commander gets and the uh, closer those docks are to the commander, the less effective those bombers are actually going to be. This is great. All we need here is a couple of good uber cannons from Mott. And then we're into com boxing. And note, Legendary Noob has been reclaiming his com, so he's already at a disadvantage in this respect. 70% to 100 from Mott there. What is this game? Come on. Bombers coming in though. How many bots will they take out? A fair chunk. Fair chunk, but he loses all three of his bombers for that. Uh-oh. Boom bots. Boom bots. 
Boom bots. Ho. Oh. oh dearie me. Nice Uber Canada. I'm surprised we don't have the uh, combat fab in there somewhere, just healing up this commando, just that little bit. Looking at Mott though, he doesn't have any power, but Legendary Noob could support it. He's got enough power there to deal with things. Ah, Mott running into mines, he doesn't want to do that. I guess he's just trying to bait and switch. Here come the boobs! Ah! Oh, bait and switch. Send in the docks to soak up the uber cannon and then, oh, what was that? Boom bots! Oh, glorious. Lovely. <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> well played, not. <laughs> We're back again. It's another 1v1. And it's between Legendary Noob and Mot9001 on the G-System. This old map. Got the players in the picture of pictures there. Mot in yellow on the South Pole. Going vehicles first. And Legendary Noob on the North. So, we've seen Mot get uh, outplayed on Forge by Legendary Noob a few days ago. We've seen Legendary Noob get completely rushed out on Classy Baron about a minute ago. <laughs> hey, wake up. What will Mott be able to do? Apologies for all the team speak there. But Legendary Noob's build here, favouring the air, so we're probably gonna see the T2 air rush from him, and given the size of the planet, that is more than likely. Uh, it's, of course it's gonna be better as a strategy to go for T2 air on larger planets like this because of the mobility of the air and the um, lack of movement speed of any ground units to actually get to the base before your opponent actually gets up the T2 air. So <coughs> the T2 air will then of course be your defender's advantage, not to mention the raiding potential it has. As we already mentioned I think before. Mott is going to be aware of this. He's played against Legendary Noob a number of times now. He knows that T2 Air is his thing. Mott here. Opening up a couple of air factories of his own. Going for a more conventional build this time. I'm happier with this. <laughs> Much happier with this. Yeah. This, this pleases me. This pleases me greatly. Seeing some spinners coming out already. Probably going to go and assist with the Fabricators so they don't get bombed. Have we got any bombers coming out from Legendary Noob? I'd be surprised if there weren't. There are not. Huh. Bombers coming out from Mott, though. Just narrowly missing a Faber. You can see the movement cues frantically trying to get the micro there. Unfortunately, though, the Hummingbirds clocked onto that bomber big time and knocked him off. Reclaiming the com, of course, as always, with Legendary Noob here. Getting his nice 35 metal boost. Up to 91 compared to Mott. Is Mott reclaiming? He is not. So that is pretty much the eco difference between them at this point, is that com reclaim. And that will help get Legendary Noob up to his T2. Bomber well, coming out now, though. It will be looking for that all-important fabricator. The spinner is there with it. And going for a third air factory from Mott. Curious, curious, curious. But with the vehicles first, I would assume Mod is thinking of going T2 vehicles in this game. There you go. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of poking, prodding, scouting. And there's the T2 air. I see. You get the air fabs starting it, and then you run the air fabs away and keep the commander building it. Because the air fabs, of course, are easily snipeable. Actually, if you run them in lots of different directions to expand, they can actually be quite good. They're not great if you just spam them in your base and just have them building stuff. The number of people I see doing this in multiplayer games where they just sort of sit turtling in a base, building stuff with tons and tons of air fabs, just don't do that, trust me. Do not fab a spam. <laughs> Particularly air fabs, because they all it takes is a small group of air to just run over, well, fly over rather, they're all gone, you know. Fab spam is bad at the worst of times. Bad at the worst. Bad at the best of times. But uh, 
Don't do it there, Fabs. Oh, no engagement here, though. A few bombers lost for both sides. Can Mott take out Legendary's bomber? No, he can't. Comes off slightly worse in that engagement. T2 Air, of course. Need more and more complete now. 72% for Legendary. We'll probably pop out a few Kestrels first. We see the T2 vehicles for Mott. What will he be doing with those? Got a nice few Firefly Scouts in the base as well, I see. Mott wanting to keep up his intelligence game, but let's take a moment to zoom out and see what we have on this planet. We have a lot of green and not a lot of yellow. Mott, again, is not really expanding very well. We did notice this in the Forge game last time. And it really is going to hamper Mott's efforts going into the next part of this game. Look at the eco differences now. About a hundred difference, and that is purely based on expansion at this point. T2 Air is ready. Kestrels are being complete. And we've slowly got Mott expanding. But he's a little bit behind the times. And he's even being raided here by a few pesky little docks as well. Vanguard first. You what? Okay. Does Mott know about the T2 air? He does. And he decides to go vanguard. <laughs> oh, are we in for a treat? Oh, are we in for a treat? We we've, we've got we've got pelicans and vanguards. Oh, please. Ha! <laughs> If Mott can pull this off, that will be so embarrassing for, <laughs> for Noob. Oh my goodness. The air, nice defense there. Taking out a few Kestrels, though. But the problem is, the Hummingbird Escort is a little too strong for Mott at this point. Just needs to try and keep these things secret here. Because if these things are seen, then it's all over. It's interesting, though, because... Bob is, uh, is it Bob or no? Well, I don't know, Bob is cool, legendary noob. Same, same difference, really. Uh, at this point, is being really quite aggressive with his air. Kind of leaving his base wide open. Look at this! Mott! <laughs> Look at this, we got a Vanguard drop! <laughs> Fantastic! And legendary noob is just too busy raiding and being aggressive that he doesn't notice Vanguard's in his base! Look at this! And he's been reclaiming his con! Down to 42! Vanguard on a mine! Down to 27! Come on, Mark! 11%! Ah! <laughs> oh, so, so close! Oh! <laughs> Come on, Mark! You can do it, buddy! Is that fa uh, reclaiming or repairing? I think that's repairing. I'm fairly sure that's re yeah, that's repairing. Noob knows. Okay, Mott's going for his cheese. <laughs> Mott's mozzarella. <laughs> Here we go. Try to <laughs> another two vanguard. And Bob hasn't learned his lesson. He's left his air out of his base. He's too busy trying to raid Mott. He hasn't learned a thing. Oh, come on. Please. We've even got a famine! <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> oh, come on, Mott. Get those vanguards in there. What have we got down on the South Pole here? <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. The air comes in, though. Oh, Vanguard lifted up and dropped! Oh, the micro! <laughs> oh, my God! What is this? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, good job, Mark. That was beautiful. That was glorious. Oh, I want to see that again. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to watch that again. Nine minute game. Let's see that little quick airlift here. Pop. Air comes in. 
Hummingbird shoots the wrong one, drops down right there. <laughs> and the Fab is just like, YOLO, hello. <laughs> Fab gets a front row seat. Uh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> well, I did say in the last video that 2017 was going to be better than ever in terms of <laughs> my stuff on YouTube, and my goodness me. <laughs> That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to pop a like or have any discussions in the comments or whatever. And have a good one. <laughs>